Welcome, back to another video of HTML course. Today, we will talk about hyperlinks. With HTML, we can turn text, buttons, images, and other elements into clickable links. To create a hyperlink, simply surround the content you want to turn into a link with a pair of A tags. You'll have an opening A tag and a closing slash A tag. Inside the opening tag, you'll use the ref attribute to set the URL you want the link to point to. For example, if you want the link to go to YouTube, you'll set the URL to the YouTube website. After saving your HTML file, when you click on this link, it will take you to YouTube. It's as simple as that. Now, let's talk about some additional attributes you can use with hyperlinks. The target attribute allows you to specify whether the linked page should open in a new tab or window. If you want the link to open in a new tab or window, you can set the target attribute to underscore blank. By default, if you don't specify the target attribute, the link will open in the same window. Same like if I set target underscore self. Link will open in the same window. Now I will do the same thing for Google site. Change YouTube text with Google and also change link in ref attribute. When you click on the link it will take you to the Google main page. You can also add a title attribute to your hyperlink. This attribute displays a small pop-up box when you hover your cursor over the link. You can add a descriptive message, like Google Link, which will appear in the pop-up box. Now I want to make two link in the main index.html page. When I click on these two links, go to the other pages. I'll create two HTML files named page2.html and page3.html. Now go to page2.html file. To get starter code use Emmet abbreviation and hit enter. In these files, I'll include an h1 tag in the body section to display content specific to each page. Copy this code and paste it in page3.html page. And also change its content. Go to main file and give path of the pages here page2.html and copy this code and paste for page 3. Also change text. Clicking on the links on the index.html page will redirect to the corresponding pages, displaying the content specified in the h1 tags. Let's change the content of page 2 you can see the result. Now go back to the main page and click on other link. Now go to the page 3 and change the content. Same change appear on website. This is especially useful when you have a navigation bar, as each link can lead to a different page. Additionally, you can use hyperlinks to send an email to someone. To do this, you can use the MailTo protocol within the ref attribute. For example, you can type MailToFake123 at gmail.com and write text contact me in between opening and closing tag. Clicking on this link will start the process of composing an email, although we won't complete it in this example. So, those are hyperlinks. You can apply hyperlinks to text, buttons, images, which we'll cover in the future. They are a powerful tool for navigation and interaction on web pages. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to join our community of fellow web content.